Hello everyone, my name is Miguel Hernandez and today we're going to be solving an exercise using Python. So we're going to use the platform codewars.com and here's the exercise. It says it's instructions digital root. It's the root. Okay, digital root is the recursive sum of all of the digits in a number. Even n, take the sum of the digits of n. If that value has more than one digit, continue reducing in this way until a single digit number is produced. This is only applicable to the natural numbers. So, okay, uh, we have some examples here. It says, for example, the number 16 is going to be 1 plus 6 equals 7. If we have 942, it's going to be 9 plus 4 plus 2 equals 15. But this 15 still has two digits. So we're going to have to take these digits and the result is going to be 1 plus 5 equals 6. Okay? The same is true for these numbers. We, we see here that we have a, a lot of digits. Then we add or we calculate the sum of the digits and it's going to be 24. And 24 has still, it still has two digits. So we're going to, um, we're going to have 2 plus 4 equals 6. So this is basically what we have to do. And so let's get started. I already have the code here. I'm going to explain how it works. So uh, if you know this platform, I mean codewars.com, you you know you can test your code before actually uh, sending or writing an attempt. So we're going to test it right now. Okay, I, I have already tested before. And we see here that we, we pass all the tests. And if I click on attempt, it's it's almost the same down testing, but it's going to test it with a lot of random numbers and <clears throat> fix the test. Okay, so we can see here that this code has passed all the tests. So it works. Okay, so let's get started. First, as you know, we have this, uh, actually the platform code works already gives you this, this first line, like creating a function in Python. So uh, I'm not gonna pay attention to it. I'm gonna explain how the code works from here till the end, okay? So first we have this variable sum of digits and we initialize it in zero, equals zero. So um, this is where we're gonna store the values, or I mean the sum of each, of each iteration of each of these values. Like for example, uh, if we have this number, it has three digits. So in the first iteration, we want to have nine. Then in the second iteration, we want to have nine from the previous iteration plus four in the current iteration. So we're going to have 13. And in the third iteration, we're going to have 13 plus the current iteration that is going to be 13 plus 2 equals 15. In order to do so, we're going to use a for loop. And uh, we're okay, we're going to use a for loop to make this sum, to calculate this sum. And in order to check if, if, if the new number has still two digits or more, we're going to use a while loop. Okay? So then we we have this variable temp equals n because we're, we're going to start with the input number that is n. And um, okay, that, that's basically all of the initializing variables. So we're going to start with the while loop. Okay, so we have this while temp is greater or higher than 9. Uh, we're going to work. So this means like the, the, if we have, uh, well, actually, since we are working with natural numbers, we know that the highest, the lowest high, higher number than 9, it's going to be 10. And if we have 10, uh, 10 has two digits. So uh, every time that, that a number has at least two digits, it's going to, the, the while loop is going to be working. So, in the first iteration, 
nine for example let's take this this number in the first iteration 942 it's gonna be three digits a three digits number and this is higher than nine okay then we're gonna calculate the sum of each uh, of these digits and we're gonna have 15 15 is gonna be a two digits number and 15 is gonna be higher than nine so we're gonna enter this loop again the, the I mean the the for loop for uh, in order to calculate the sum of the digits okay then um, we have the for loop this is basically what I explained earlier uh, we're saying here take the number I mean in the first iteration 10 is going to be 942 uh, convert it into a string and this string is going to have three uh, yeah three values it's going to have a nine it's going to have a four in, and it's going to have a two and it says <clears throat> for each digit in the string I, it means it's going to work three times because um, there's going to be three digits in this string what you have to do for each digit in this string you're, you're going to have to add the current value to the previous start value and since we started in zero okay we're gonna in the first iteration we're gonna have zero plus nine okay the result is gonna be nine and the second iteration we're gonna have nine plus four the result is gonna be 13 and with the third and final iteration we're gonna have 13 plus 15 sorry uh, 13 plus 2 equals, fi equals 15 so uh, since we already reached the limit of the string uh, the, the for loop is gonna end here and then we're gonna pass to here we're gonna we're gonna say a hey, 10 you're gonna be equals to sum of digits so in the first it, this is this is for the while loop because it, this is outside the for loop so in the first iteration of the while loop temp was 942 and now we're, we're saying we're telling the program we're telling that temp is going to be 15 because we are uh, we already calculated some of these digits and and we have final number so temp is going to be 15 and we reset the variable sum of digits to zero since temp is now 15, the while loop is going to check, okay, 15 is higher than 9. And since the result is yes, we're going to make this again. In the, now, uh, when we finish, we're going to have temp, temp equals 6, because 15 is 1 plus 5 equals 6. And... Uh, the while loop is gonna check again temp I mean 6 is higher than 9 no okay so return the last return temp I don't know I, why I can't see here okay here it is return temp so this is the the final number we're gonna return to the user and since we already saw this code is working so if you have any questions please your please leave your question in the comment section and i think that's all for now thank you goodbye